So if on Wednesdays we wear pink, it then follows that on trash day, we wear casual, right? Hopefully. Anyway, this is all of my July empties. So we're going to talk about some trash. And it literally is trash day at my house too. So it seemed like the perfect day. Before I start with all of my empties for the month, please do all of the things. You know what they are. Okay, so first, let's get some of the bulky stuff out of the way. We have got a couple of Bath & Body Works hand soaps. We have a Cactus Blossom and a Kitchen Lemon, which are both done. And then we also have this really, really old, I mean, like, I don't even know how old, Fresh Pick Body Wash in Apples. So finally managed to get that out of the way too. Okay, my bag is on the floor and I've got to clean off this desk. Okay, then I'm dropping things already, guys. So body care, we have got the, what is this? Hello Beautiful, which I cut into multiple pieces so that I don't cut my hands on it when I'm digging in with my fingers because I don't have a spatula here that works. I need to get one of those. I, I buy everything in the world. You'd think I would have one of those. Now, hold on. Ugh. Okay, that was painful. The thing I dropped was a little sample of the Mary Kay Body Care Buffing Cream. It's a really old product, but it was one that I always loved, and my mom had a couple of samples, so I snagged that. They go quickly. Um, I have also got a Bath & Body Works Hello Beautiful Body Lotion, which I use these as like hand lotions generally, so that one's done. And then this ridiculous Clarins. Um, this is the, oh geez, what is it? it's the anti-cellulite contouring expert that you knew I had cut open because I wanted to make sure I got every benefit possible. Didn't notice a thing. So that's done at least. And then we have got the pharmacy honey potion, oops, lid, which I literally scraped out every single drop of and isn't my favorite, wouldn't repurchase because I can make my own. And I think when I talked about this for my project, that's when I talked about the concoction I make is um, organic honey, organic raw honey. And I got mine from my cousin's farm. And then extra virgin olive oil, guys. I throw it in a little ramekin, mix it up, and then I put it inside of a sandwich bag so I keep it sealed. Stuff stays forever. I don't have to refrigerate it or anything. And I don't get that weird warming sensation. Okay, I did finish off my facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. This is a 60 pad container and I was getting low on it so I knew I was going to get it done soon. This is the only exfoliating that I've been able to use that doesn't make my skin literally burn where I get a chemical burn. So we like that. Um, okay, I finished off a Paracone MD face finishing moisturizer. This was a little bit older in the collection and so I wanted to get that used up. I like that. I don't love it. It's not something I would repurchase necessarily. Um, the Paracord MD stuff is a little bit pricey in my opinion. Does it work? Well, sure. It's a moisturizer. I mean, it doesn't dry me out, but it's just a moisturizer. Okay. The L'Oreal Revitalift Eye. I have the old packaging. This was in a project. This was in Watson. And so this one you knew was done. In addition, I had gone through, oh wow, it's the Guerlain, the Abigail, whatever, the Royale, the one with the gold flex in it that I had in the Watson project. If I remember, I've got the name on the screen. If I don't, you guys have seen this before. Lovely, very lovely, very fun. Um, couldn't get all the gold flakes out, but got all the product out. That's a sticker that you're seeing on the back of it there. So I like it. I don't know that I'd repurchase it. I mean, it's not like... I need it, but if you have it, enjoy it because it is lovely. I don't know. I finished off a small bottle of the Garnier Micellar Water, just the regular pink one. Um, I just like having that one around. I found that the bigger the bottles get for me, if I use the waterproof remover one, because of the weird mix of oils, it leaves too much of an oily residue. So I try and just use the regular plain one. I did finish off the one ounce of the Advanced Genifique. And now with this, you can see the bottom actually is clear because it's milky when there's product. And these I love. Um, the dispenser on this is awesome. 
if you just put it in and just it's a it'll suck right up you just push a little pump thing and it gives you the exact amount every time I have a smaller bottle of this already in use so this is one that I have a some on backup I really do like it it is a great serum it's hydrating it goes on smooth it absorbs well I just plain enjoy it and I'm thinking well it doesn't hurt me I'm thinking maybe it's a little bit helpful but we'll see we'll see when I run out if I can tell a difference from not using it that for me is the key thing if I run out and I feel like I'm missing something that I have to rush right back out and replace it then I know it's an excellent product and then the Caudalie um, cleanser just the vino pure I had it in a project so you knew that was finished off I don't love that at all, so that wasn't anything I cut open. I literally did get everything out of there that I could. It wasn't really worth me cutting that one open. Um, but, oh, okay. So I had a package of Ofra wipes that I had gotten in a mystery box at some point. So there's only 15 in here, and I finished that off. I finished off my little bottle of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I did cut that open to get everything out that I could, because I do love this. This is one of my favorites. I have a bigger travel size in use right now. This is the Ilia Blue Light Filter. And I got this on a recommendation from somebody who works at Sephora. I wanted something that would help melt down, because I do love my powder. I love my powders for someone dry. I know it's strange, but, um, I was something, it just wasn't melting in correctly with what I was using. So I had asked one of the women working at Sephora and she recommended this. Now, blue light filter, that really wasn't anything that I was looking for. So I didn't really care for that as much. Um, it wasn't a specific goal, but I did want something for setting that helped the makeup melt and it worked okay the sprayer on it is excellent I'm probably not gonna run right out and buy it I probably would go back to the revolution hydrate and fix if I were gonna rush out and get something a it's cheaper you get a whole lot more product and I think it actually probably does a little bit better job of helping that melt you know that you know the melt the melt we all want where things don't look splotchy I don't know what I'm saying okay I finally finished off the NARS concealer that I had for 8 million years that I dug out and put into a little thing. So that is finally empty. I told you you'd see it in the empties. That's good because that's been out of the line for Lord knows how long. I went through a little bottle of the sugar. This is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. These are, um, I don't dig out, but it's, it's gone. These are not the size that they sell individually, and this did come in a lip kit. So I got that one used up. And then my ro my Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream, which is the overnight. Well, I use it as an overnight mask, and I like it. I do like it. Um, I think this only has two grams of product in it, and I don't know what the regular size is, but this was another thing that came in a lip kit. I like lip masks in general, so it's not like I have anything bad to say about this. Compared to Laneige, it's a little bit more, um, I don't want to say thick, but it's almost more like a tube chapstick. So maybe it, it doesn't come off as waxy, but it probably is a little bit more waxy. Um, and I find that it stays a little bit longer than the Laneige that I'm working on now, but I enjoy that one too. So I do like these. I don't know if that actually gave you any insight, but that's where we're at. Okay. Oh, and then um, my Laura Mercier loose, no, translucent loose setting powder. This was the one gram sample that I had had, and so I had thrown it into a project. I just kept the card to remind myself that, yes, it does need to go on my empties. I love that, and yes, I bought it. I know. I know. I do have one in Arizona. Spoiler alert, you're going to be seeing a haul from me pretty soon. Because July was ugly, and so I'm going to confess all my sins, and I did get more. Hair care. Okay. So, I finished up a Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, which I love. I love, love, love this stuff. Um, I even love the generic version from Sally Beauty Supply. This is not an oil. It does not necessarily, well, it does absorb, but it isn't for 
moisturizing necessarily. It's more of a gloss and it makes things pretty and shiny. And when I straighten my hair, this is a lifesaver. I absolutely love it. And a lot of times I will even use it on like second day hair or third day hair just to give it more gloss. I don't have it in a day. This is just, this is just what you get. But this I absolutely love. Probably will end up in my life again. The Not Your Mother's Clean Freak. This is just the refreshing dry shampoo and original. This isn't the tapioca one because I was looking about replacing to see like price wise and stuff. And there's a tapioca one that's green too. But this is just the original. I like this a lot. I'm working on an Eva NYC full size dry shampoo right now, which I don't like as much. This is definitely better. And I think it's cheaper too. They're both a little bit more drugstore priced, but this one is the better of the two. I did do a um, Alterna Caviar shampoo and conditioner. This is the multiplying volume one. It's fine. What can I say? Conditioners for me are a big deal. That's why I use a lot of hair masks. This gets super, super tangled and it is a pain to comb through. And I shed like you wouldn't believe. So that I don't think really made anything noticeably different and conditioners in general are not strong enough for me to use just a conditioner and call it good. So we have an old fantastic Sam's reconstructive treatment, which I finally finished off too. This is just another hair mask and it's, eh. there is so much better out there that I get that this was just like, yeah, it's not bad. It's okay. It's fine. It's whatever, but don't run out and buy it. It's not great. You can get better ones. Honestly, the Briogeo don't despair repair is better. Probably more expensive, but just saying. All right. Then I also have a couple of perfumes for you. So then I have got the Jo Malone sampler, which was in my 50 shades of green and it had all of the little ones. Um, I had mentioned before my absolute favorite of these is the peony and blush suede, but I also do like the English pear and freesia quite a bit. I am not fond of the wood sage and sea salt while bluebell is eh. And the Nectarine Blossom and Honey, I was concerned about having a reaction because I have those weird reactions, so I had mixed it with the um, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I figured maybe the two would combat each other and it would be okay, and it's fine, but I wouldn't buy a full size personally. It's just not my preference. They're all good, and they are all really acknowledged for a reason. They are lovely. It's just not totally me. Then my Clinique Happy which I don't like. I finished it. I, that's the one I um, used in my closet and in my shoes to finish it off just to get rid of it. Not my favorite scent. And after a while, it actually becomes bad for me. My reaction to it is bad. Um, there's nothing wrong with the perfume. I know that I think it's Brown and Girl Charisse that loves that one. And honestly, she may be getting all of mine because I cannot keep using that. After a while, it starts to bother me almost like an allergic thing. So that one's out of the way. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I do have more because of course I do. Okay. So that is the empties bag, but we do have the candle bag and it's a lot. It's a lot. You guys, this month was a little bit excessive for me for some reason with the candles. So we're going to go through them. I'm going to show them to you. And then I'm going to put them back in the darn bag because otherwise I have nowhere to put them. Oh, and I have one oddball wax melt. This is a Better Home, and, Better Homes and Gardens Plumeria Petals. I love Plumeria. I mean, I flippin' love Plumeria. And I had one little cube left in this, so I did go ahead and use it up. Then we have my Cactus Blossom, which you know I love. Not only do I have one... I have two. Yep. I really do like that one. So then we've got a couple of the fresh cut lilacs for the single wicks from Bath and Body Works. And I swear opening these things up just to even show you how much didn't melt makes it smell so good. I love these. Okay. We've got the Japanese cherry blossom, which was from rolling into spring. I'm pretty sure. I put candles in all kinds of projects. I can't always remember. I'm sorry. I think it was Charisse's pro project rolling into spring. The raspberry mimosa candle, which is the one that has the pretty sparkles. Um, 
Ooh, that was a little bit strong. Uh, it, I think from Watson. I think. I don't remember. Lavender, vanilla, just a random one. And then I screwed myself up. These are my dollar store ones. Normally these melt better for me, but I think they were close to the end and I blew them out and the wicks weren't straight. So this has a lot of remainder product. These are going to be fun. But this one, also from Dollar Tree, this was just another, um, I don't know if it was Apple or Apple Cinnamon. I can't remember. I think it's just Apple. This is a Sure Sense brand. I don't remember what the other one is, but these are also in the same section. And this one burned excellent. That jar I'll probably reuse. Now, these jars I love. And I promised you guys you'd be seeing some of my melted down. This is three months worth of stuff. So I have these two that came out this color. And they don't smell specifically like one thing or another, but they just have a pleasant scent because I've mixed so many fragrances. This one turned out a little bit lighter because this is half of what was left from that batch and then some more wax melted. Or maybe there was some vanilla left in it when I melted it down, which I'll probably do with one of those too. But since I use enough of the uh, red candles for the apple, it tends to make a lot of my new ones pink. So I made three candles this month and I think I had two or three months of wax empties chipped out, but... Nope, that's not it. Where is it? Where is it? This is my melter. It's a Pyrex um, two cup anchor hocking glass melting thing. And I put this in the microwave. Th aside from the few little crumbs that I threw in the top from something else, these are the Vanilla Bean Noel leftovers all melted down. And I didn't have another container yet. So it's still sitting in here. So my next candle is going to be a green one. And I figure I will just clean one of those out, melt this down and pour it in and then chip the rest out and start over. So I figure that's a fairly successful month of July for me. But let's talk about a few numbers, shall we? So, oh Lordy, I made a mess. My notes are covered in crumbs, mostly uh, wick. I went through $127.25 worth of candles and then the one wax melt, which was a $2 item. So that wasn't much. I do not count this anymore in my year-to-date total. I mean, I can tell you what that is, including the candles, but I am not including it for the pan or weight of 5K, just to clarify. So for July, there were 29 items for a total of $414.06. That means... I have year to date used 209 items, about which I am thrilled, for $2,828.54. I'd like to be a little higher. I'm not, so it's fine. I'm still working towards 5K. I've actually made a pretty good dent. I wasn't at the $2,500 mark at the end of June, which was the halfway point, so I figured I'd be lagging a little bit. Maybe I'll get another bump and get closer, but I'm actually really happy with the amount that I am getting out, even if it's not quite going to get me to 5K. If we wanted to cheat, if I included the 10 candles for the 127.25 for this month, I would have been over 500. But like I said, I'm not doing that in my year-to-date totals. But year-to-date candle total, $843.90, you guys. Thank goodness, aside from the Dollar Tree stuff, I don't pay retail on this because that is stupid expensive. I have gone through, I don't even know how many, I mean, probably about 40 candles. Wow, I burn a lot of candles. If I were to include everything, I'm at 36 76 and 44 cents. Like I said, that's just for your information or for my records or for whatever. I'm not counting it towards the pan or weight of 5K. So thank you so much for spending some time with me and talking about my trash. And uh, I don't have anything else. So until next time, everybody. Oh, wait, I do. I do. I do. I wanted to tell you this just because I forget to do this. So this here is my first use of the Ruby Woo. I am not going to lie. I am intimidated by a bold red matte lip. So I combined it. 
I did the Rimmel Addiction Liner, which is in one of my projects. That that's that so two thousands. I did the Never Say Never from Nars, and that's a matte lip crayon too. But that's a really pink color. That one's in the I Love My Makeup project. And then I did Ruby Woo, and because I have so much matte going on here, I threw a little bit of the Baby Brute by uh, Fenty on top of it. And now this eye look. I'm getting as close as I can is comprised of approximately 13 shadows and three different liners. I know, I'm nuts, but I just wanted to play with my eyeshadows that I have in panning projects. So I couldn't replicate this if I tried, but I thought I would just make sure that I gave you a shot of it and uh, just wanted to give you a, a heads up that if you think that you have a lip that is too much, layer it. Maybe I'll get brave enough before the end of my uses in my Throwback 30 project to wear the, the Ruby Woo on its own. But until then, play around. Make it something you're comfortable with. All right, that's my tip for the day, everybody. You have a great one. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.